had uh, two sets of minutes from the last two minutes, last two meetings that we approved. Everybody go over them? Yep. Can I make a motion that we approve February 13, 2019? I second. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 And? Uh, two thousand uh, February twenty seventh, two thousand nineteen. Motion made to accept. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Here we go. Minor plan alteration of TJA solar. Got you right on top so you can get out of here and the hurry. There you go. Appreciate it. Uh, so, uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Christopher King with Atlantic Design Engineers. And as I noted, we're here before you uh, this evening to allow for a uh, minor modification uh, to a previously approved plan. Um, as you know, we uh, finished the planning board process after you folks. At the very end of the planning process, it was determined based on town, uh, town council's legal opinion um, that our available access point, which was previously uh, diagonally kind of across this uh, intersection of the Brook Street extension or Aubrey and uh, Pine Street, um, that we needed to slide it down basically and come out where we had legal frontage along Brook Street. Um, so that required us to make, like I said, a minor plan change, um, which has been already uh, reviewed and approved by uh, Beta Group, uh, the town's engineer. Uh, but basically, instead of coming diagonal like we did before, essentially maintaining the same access point on the curve but bringing the road further down and then arcing it to realign more with Pine Street across the, across the way. Um, it's essentially the same design from a stormwater standpoint. It's just sliding the road down. Um, it actually allowed us to extend this uh, row of plantings down as well. Um, and the road basically shifted in anywhere from three to six feet or so. Uh, so, I'd like to open it up for any questions if you have any. Um, it's also worth to point out as well that in the shift, you know, this it's the same design as far as the crossing. Uh, we put the same level of detail into it as far as depths to make sure that we uh, meet or exceed the stream crossing standards that are set forth by DEP. Um, and it actually, the, by sliding it down, we were previously coming in here where it's a little bit wider. It's actually one of the more narrow sections along that area. Um, so we're going to be further away from the bank, if that makes sense, uh, from the actual stream bed with the three open uh, bottom box culvert. So I have some green cards as well. Charlie, I was looking through my file. It just documents all the changes going to uh, DEP Southeast. So. <coughs> Has the original plan been approved? Was the original plan approved? Or is this... This is the plan that we have to approve. The okay. To this is, okay, but I'm saying the original plan... Yes, it was. ...has been approved. So we're just a, a here to a, approve the alteration. That's right. The plan alteration. All right, I, I don't have any questions on it. Jim, Jack? I'm not proud of this. Oh, yeah, that's right, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a question. Is there any change at all from how you presented it to the planning board? Uh, the last presentation to the planning board, um, I mentioned it last time as part of when we made this mo modification, one of the planning board conditions was to send the plan because Peter Williams, I'm sorry, Peter Williams of GZA, GZA did not have a lot of time to review the plan. Um, and so, um, 
the planning board had a condition that we send him the plan and he had adequate time to review it, which he did. He approved it, but he noted that we had what we call a Scribner's error. This contour line here was actually labeled a 72, should have been a 71. This is the low area here where everything drains down. Um, and so he requested that we change that, and so we did so. Um, and he had emailed Carrie Easterday um, at the planning board just letting her know that you know he approved the drawings with a slight change due to the Scribner's error, which was literally changing a one, uh, I'm sorry, a two to a one. One other question. Was Laura, was she involved in checking this oh. change? Was it Laura, the girl from that does your conservation? Oh, for, oh, oh, for the, uh, no, for Armstrong. Yeah, did she have any, she need to check any of that or she did. for the change? She did? Oh, yeah. For, the, for this one? Yes. And it all came out that she... I had emailed her after the planning process just because I think she was expecting it, uh, just to let her know that we had made a change. Um, and I believe I had sent her the PDFs as well. There's no other argument. Make a motion. You all set? Yeah. Okay, I make a motion that we accept the plan alteration as described. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Tom. Where's <coughs> Mr. Barabee stop? Mr. Barbie, where are you? Okay, this is a septic repair. Well, if it's yes, a it's telling you that stuff. Okay, James Hall, Mount Hope Engineering. I represent Mr. Barbie. James Hall, Mount Hope Engineering. Representing Mr. Barbie. We have a septic system replacement. Regional systems front yard. Driveways over on this side. We end up putting it on the side yard. We got a wetland here, 75 feet away. We have the leach field, hay bales, silt fence, um, let me raised, let me system, out raised, a raised system. Well, let me find out what section is. I know the one on TV. I don't know You know where it is? Um, yeah, I've been I've been down there, but uh, I don't know not, really it. do you like to read upside down? Are you doing well, it not? No, this is north, and I want it in front of him. So where, where, where the heck is it? Where is it? Show me in the Bunning Street. So some, oh, here it is. Here's the locust here. Here's the, here's here's the, the locust here. Flip, flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Can't read it. Flip it. Turn it, turn it this way. Turn the whole paper. You can read that? No, it's upside down. It doesn't make any difference if it's upside down. You can't read it. It's not clear enough. Well, I just, you, you pick up a couple of streets. Well, I can't. So I, need, I need you to tell me where the damn place is. That's where he's off of Williams, right? Huh? I've got a bunch of planes over there, guys, if you want to grab it. Off to Williams? We got extra planes. <laughs> I put the whole ton of planes up there. Got five guys here in one plane. That's not good. Well, that's good. <laughs> so that seems off Williams and then off Maple. It's off that's William. That's off on off Maple. Off Williams. Okay. All right. I, I'm on target right uh, On William Street, on uh, you're, on 44, you're on 44 on yeah. William Street. You're heading towards uh, uh, Reed Brothers. And you, as you're going down there, you come to Maple Street. You take a right onto Maple Street. Yeah. And then it's, it's a left in there before the river. 
the river is down lower, and it's one of those streets that, that loops around. The river runs behind it. The river runs behind it, yeah. Carriage Park Drive. Carriage Park Drive goes down to Sesame Street as well, which is off of Williams Street. Is that, is I'm that a neighbor it? of all of this. That's um, why I wanted to know what was going on. <laughs> that's the wrong tangent. It, it, well, that's but not, I, I'm looking at you. You got a book in the street on here, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm saying this map is a lot clearer. Now I see book in the street. Let's go check the wrong map. It's clearer. You need to look at the wrong map. Okay. Did I, did I give you a good enough location? Yeah, now I know where Sesame Street is. Yeah, it, it makes a loop. It's um, it's it's a uh, south of Maple Street. Derby Drive. Yeah. It's all in now. So I want to say west 20, 30 years ago. <sighs> yeah, probably more like 30. 30 years ago, and it was Barry B. This guy's father that built it all back in the day. Okay. Yeah, Sesame runs from Maple Street to Barrabee. And then Barrabee goes up back to Williams. Correct. Yeah. And if you go, if you, if you stay on Barrabee, isn't that, it goes down to the river and you have our little bridge over the river that, that no, that's not the one, that's, no. that's the next one down. That's St. If you go down to Barrabee Street, you go into a cul-de-sac, you take a right yeah, turn, yeah. you have to take a right yeah. turn. Yeah. This house is the first house. Okay, no, I, I'm, 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 I'm there yeah. with it. Yeah, that way the driveway stays the same. They yeah. moved it, yeah. yeah. Wellington, Horton, and then Maple. Yeah. Sure, if it's here it's in or over here. Yeah. It's in here. Right here. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make kidding. sure that whatever he does over there is not going to have a lot of fill that's going to alter how the uh, river is. Well, this is repair. Okay, so he's not adding like any more like dirt or anything well, over there? It may We're gonna have to be uh, elevated. I'm not sure. As soon as, soon as we get our questions answered, you can come up here and. and, and Run him up and down. You can do it anywhere. I just want. have that. That's my main question. Is because that river floods just, all just, our let yards. Let us let us let us get going here. We're, we're not we're not ready to go yet either. Okay. So existing is here. Existing front yard. Okay. It takes a whole front yard up. Otherwise, we would have been in the front yard. This is the driveway. Okay. okay. So there's yep. really no room. There's trees in here. Take all these trees down. We got a okay, so in your proposal is where? Right here. Right here. So it's right. Okay, so um, what's this here? That there is just like a door pen. It's existing. The stone wall pretty much signifies where you get a okay. wooded line. Okay, and so how far is this from the river here? The river would be out here. Okay, so where's the wetland here then? Yeah. Okay, here, but no, but it doesn't show it here. No, here. it's a house. It's a house next door. I don't know if she's referring oh, to. Oh, oh, I see. You have okay. a house here and a house here. Okay, all right, okay. I, I, I'm on Call the way. Call the sack. He actually is opening up right there. Okay, all right. Okay, so this is the side yard, not correct. the back yard. That is correct. Yeah. Okay, that's... Front door that's, right here. Well, no, I, I'm looking at this here. I wasn't sure if this here was... A, was um, another street here. Okay, all right. No, nope, no. Nope. Okay, so, so you the basic subdivision lot, lot, lot. So you're 75 feet from the. Uh, from the wetlands. Okay, all right. Which is in the woods, wooded. Uh, so we're not touching any of that. We're not going out there clearing anything. Okay, so the elevation on the. Okay, actually, so any water that flows from the street is going to come, it's going to go around your septic and then into the swamp. Um, 
So you'll have it built up from here, it'll be built up to the house? It's actually, the grades are blending back into the house, the foundation's sitting way up, so we're going to we're gonna marry that with the fill. Okay. And then we're required under Title V to have at least five foot of flat area between property line and toe of our slope. So okay, so what slope? Toe of slope. We can't fill to the property line, we need right. five feet of flat or a drainage ditch or so that we so don't push that water so, so, onto okay. the neighboring property. But then there's no one back here anyway, so, you're, correct. so we no one's going to be affected. We don't want to do this with the water. We're not going this way. Yeah, no, so I know. If the water goes this way, then has to run down. But now, there's, you said, the, is there a house right here? Yeah, are you yes. to the left or the, to the right, if you're looking at it? I'm not on Sesame Street. I'm on Maple Street, but I'm, on, I'm behind you on the other side of the river. I'm not sure which house is yours, but there's you like several houses on the other side of that river there. Yeah, to be honest with you, the only two like affected my house is the one that's way in the this. woods. Yeah, I'm actually left because over here nothing's happening. We got no action going here. Everything's right, right here. Yeah. Whoever this abutter is would be the sort of the concerned party. Yeah, but yet yeah, you've got the uh, um, 25 feet of, of roughly 25 feet of untouched property. Right. Roughly. Yeah. So, there's, still, so any, any water that's flowing from here, mm -hmm. it has ample location to go to go through. Yep. System to be raised? Raised. Trying to marry the grade, you know, sloping down, we're trying to do this. It's not raised right now. Uh, it is not raised right now, yes. uh, maybe slightly, but it it's, well, hasn't been working. Then, the system hasn't been working for a while. Yeah. So good great soils, but the uh, system was put in the water table. Well, when the house was built, uh, the Groundwater level was different? No, I'd say there wasn't a soil evaluation going on back before 1995, so the education <laughs> level wasn't there. <laughs> so, so actually, you're, the way it looks here, you it may only be raised maximum of two feet uh, above here. Because you're talking 77 here. Right. you got a 77. And right. you got a 76 here. Right, and then on the downhill and side, the you're probably four feet taller than the low yeah, side. Yeah, but that's not going to be a problem because right. that, that goes into the swamp. Right. Correct. So we do that's, have to jack it here, up a little it's bit. It's here that, that's gonna, that would, yeah. Correct. So this water would come off, do this and do this. Yeah. This water's just coming off, like you said, just heading right to the swamp. And it's just warm. Okay. It's just warm right. now. Right. <coughs> now here's just, just a thought that, that something... If there were to be water that would build up here, if there were, uh, to, to put a, uh, a PVC pipe in here to do any collecting so it wouldn't have to go all the way around. Just something for you to think about. I mean, it's not really our area, but that would certainly prevent anything from uh, uh, backing up against the house. You know, just having a PVC, because you're going to have all flow this way. No, so rather than street. having it. We're up here, front door's here to the street. Okay. We're higher oh, than the street. You see that come through there, 78, 77, okay. 76, so we're two, three feet higher than oh, the street. Oh, so that's going to go to the street. Correct. Okay. All and right. we're also higher than the driveway, so once it gets to the, into this point right here, it's just doing this. Oh, um, all right. Okay. Which it's, it's almost doing that now, pretty much. So yeah. we're just obviously yeah. uh, elevating the system and, and redirecting it around the mound. Okay. No other questions here. Would you like to come up and see the plan? Um, yeah, I was just trying to figure out, like, um, so where, do you live between um, Carriage Park and Barraby? It's Barraby. This is Barraby. Oh, it is Barraby yeah, where you Barabee. live. Oh, I thought you lived on Sesame Street. Uh, no, no, the name, Barraby is the owner. It's on Sesame Street, Barraby is the owner that we are here right. for. Right, and that house, is it between Carriage Park and Barraby? It's at the end of the call, uh, not the end, but right where the, the road turns. Turns to Barabee? Correct. Okay. So you're on, I'm on more the opposite behind, side. Yeah, like, because Sesame Street, is, I can look through my window and cars coming down is where Sesame Street is. Right, right. right. I'm set way back on. So that's probably why I got the thing in the mail. You got the notice, but I don't, I, yeah. yeah. So she's not a direct butter, she's in a butter of butter, meaning. Right, yeah. Yeah, now that's that why I you got the notice. Where you are. I was trying to figure out where that house was. Where your house, is it your house? No, it's not my house. Oh, somebody else's. Yeah. Oh, all right. No, I understand what it's you're trying to do. It's a system The old system yeah. failed. They have to repair it. Right. Uh, it'll have this basically the same footprint. It'll yeah. be elevated. Okay. But it shouldn't make it, well, no. it might make a smidgen of difference. Yeah, in, it shouldn't in, make it oh, any flood. difference. It's not going to affect yeah, you. It's, it's not going to affect you. Right. You'll get a teacup full of water extra. Yeah. 
No, probably not anything as no. no. where I am. Maybe I just yellow. wanted to, I thought it was somebody who, like, I didn't understand why they sent it to me then if I wasn't really a button. That. Quiet by law. That's to give it. you a night out. Yeah. Yeah, I had a rush <laughs> to get here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to be late. It happens often. Well, many, many of us are notified, and uh, they're, they're really not concerned parties, but it's the law, so. Yeah. Well, it, it's good because then people can't say we didn't know. Exactly. Excuse me? No. I move that we accept the plan for uh, replacement of the failing system. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Have a good night. Oh yeah, thank you. You guys are up. All right, all right. We'll, we'll be we'll be quick. I couldn't help but make a joke to to Josh whether where does the Cookie Monster live on Sesame Street? But I didn't. <laughs> So this is uh, Rego Solar. Rego Solar, yes. So good to see all of you. Can we read this? I want to introduce myself to you. You're Chris Capone, right? Mm -hmm. Dave yeah. Albright. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're working in Westport with Chris, so I want to introduce myself. So uh, again, my name is David Albright, uh, professional engineer at Rego Solar. We're located yeah, in Lowell, we'll Massachusetts. Take a look. Okay. Take a look. So we're here for, uh, I think we met with you a couple weeks ago and talked about what was appropriate for what we're proposing and we all agreed a request for determination of applicability at 2734 Elm Street uh, here in Dighton was the appropriate process. Uh, I will go over with you all because I know not all of you were here last time. Uh, we're, uh, we've already received approval, we actually just received the, the signed ORAD for the solar project that's at the very, very west end of this parcel. Uh, that doesn't show up on this particular plan, but it's on the west side of the, the 200 foot wide power easement. And what we're here before you tonight is a request for determination of applicability for a, a new gravel road around the most easterly solar project that exists right now. Elm Street is off to the east here, north is straight up. This is the roadway that comes in, it goes through these, it goes through these wetlands. This is the first system and then there's another system here, and then the easement, and then the new system that the ORAD was approved, some, I think it was sometime last year. So what we've got outlined here is the wetlands that were approved by this commission um, a year or so ago. The orange is the fence line around the existing system. And then, as I mentioned, here's the road that runs through the system. So this is, all these systems are owned by and operated by the same company, Ener uh, NRG Clearwater. And we're hoping that we're the one that's to the west of the solar project, west of the easement, will we'll be constructing that for, for them as well. So through discussions with them, they were fearful as well as we are, because we're the, uh, the contractor, we're going to build this for them, that bringing tra uh, tractor trailer trucks and uh, future uh, operations and maintenance vehicles, and then hopefully not, but uh, emergency vehicles, in order to get to the west side of this one, they have to go, they have to open a gate, drive through it, open another gate, and go through it. And so we all decided that the, the best option here was to actually create a new gravel road around the, the south side of this first project. Again, this is the one that's closest to Elm Street. And so we've, uh, we've had this all approved by, as a minor modification, uh, with the planning board. Peter Williams, the GZA, has reviewed it, uh, approved it, and so now we're before you for an RDA. So it's, it's basically a... a 12 foot wide minimum gravel road. It's wider in places because we need to have enough uh, radius and width to, for a uh, semi-trailer truck and a fire truck. So it comes around the south side. We have a little bit of grading right here. I don't know if any of you have been out there or recall if you've walked it. There's a bit of a uh, piece of ledge here. 
And then, so we're going to be filling this area here so we can get a gradual slope for the road so we can go up and down the road safely. It'll have a swale along the south side of it, and any runoff from the road will go into what we're going to call a, a sort of a very long level spreader where water will be able to pool up and go over uh, a berm. And at the top of that berm, it's about a foot of pea gravel. So it filters any water that goes over, uh, and it basically, it's not a point source. It's just going to all flow over a, a wide, much wider area. So that takes all the water from this part of the road and all the water from, from here over. So that's about three quarters of the road. Then the other quarter of the road is going to go the slope this way and along here to a culvert and a very small little level spreader in this location. How much of that is in the buffer zone? It looks like so, uh, some of it. Some of the blue line is the buffer zone. Okay. This whole area here is our was previously disturbed as part of this project. There's a, there's a few downed trees in here that will have to be uh, pulled out in order for us to build this road. This is this part of the road is all at grade. This part of the road is all at grade. There will be some excavation here. Uh, we've shown on here that we're putting in uh, uh, silt sock and uh, silt fence, so we're going to double up our uh, erosion controls because we're within we're close to 50 feet of a wetland and under the... Um, is this going to be a permanent road or is it only going to be a temporary access? It's a permanent road. It's a permanent road. And the, the swales and the level spreaders, those will be permanent as well. What I was going to say was that uh, the construction general permit, EPA construction general permit, uh, will be disturbing over an acre so we'll be filing uh, electronic notice of intent with them and have a SWIP as part of that. And that, I believe, is a condition of the planning board's approval that we provide that to them and we can also provide that to you all. Uh, if, if you're within 50, you have to always maintain a 50 foot natural buffer between your work and a wetland. And so, in order to do that, where you've already got sort of vegetation removed as part of, you know, whether it's, you know, it's the way it was when you found it, or it's because of this this project. You have to you have to mimic a 50 foot buffer. So that's why we put two types of erosion controls in. So just a second protection, um, the silt sock, and which is a, the big big mulch tube that actually sits on the ground, and then behind it we'll have a silt fence. And once everything is stabilized, those things, those will be removed. Wetlands flagged? Uh, these are taken from the original delineation. No, I'm talking about up, the, up at the corner. Uh, over here? Yes. Uh, those are part of the original delineation as well. It's still a, it's still a valid delineation. It's been less than, you know, considerably less than three years. Okay, and the green line that goes. Which, no, the that, not that one, the next one. This one? No. That one? You went too far. Slow down. Go back to that corner. Go up. Take a take a little bit of a right. Yeah, or that line. That's the that's the hundred foot buffer zone. That's the hundred foot to, buffer. To this wetland and to this wetland, they kind of <clears throat> come together right here. That's that's the hundred foot, and then this is the hundred foot over here. So some of this project already was already in, and I think any of the work that they did around the outside and clearing they did was all within the hundred foot. No, no, but I'm just saying, yeah, please. I'm just looking for. Uh, oh, that's a. That's no one. Yeah.
I haven't looked at any flags up there or I haven't looked at any maps yeah. up there. Um, but I'm close I'm, I'm close enough to walk over there and look. Uh, it just seems to me that the corner that I was referring to on the other page. Now up in here? Yeah. Uh, was awful wet. It is it is very wet down here. No, further. I'm talking about right there at the corner, right at the edge of the fence that's that's erected right now. This was uh, uh, and that's my only I'd like to take yes. a look at that. So oh, right in this, uh, this is the uh, this is the gate. This is, they both exist. Yeah. This is the gate right here. So this this, is, very, this is very cool. steep right through here. So a, there's a mile right here. 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 These guys are talking. There's a, uh, as far as topography is, there's a, there's a, this is the highest point right here. There's a mound. Yep. Um, I gather it's probably ledge. Yeah, uh, it, there may be an exposed yeah. ledge. Unlock and it slopes this it way. Another. And it slopes so on the order of probably close to 10 or 12 feet down to the wetland. Yeah, so if this is wet here, there. it might be just because there's a localized low spot that when they did when they constructed this project, they didn't they just mm -hmm. sort of it's created. It's been a while since I've been up there, but I, I've been up there since the construction of the new mm -hmm. fence and and the and the, and the and the solar panels, and I, and I and I walked the fence line and I came around the corner, and when you get off the ledge that's in the corner, that's a ledge right here, yeah. The ledge is right there? There's ledge right, yeah, it starts right, this is the high point right here in this part of the site, and then it flattens, it's very, very, very flat right through here. This is where there's all the down trees that they cut uh, to make sure they didn't fall onto the fence, and they've, just, they've left those. Um, but this is the high point, and then it goes, it goes down a foot, and then it's really flat from, this is the 106 contour, all the way yeah. to here, which is 105. Oh, no, right in that pile, right there. Is that a bigger setup of plants? Uh, yes, it should be a bigger yeah. set. You know, that, that should be this set. <sighs> I think Jack might want one too. Maybe, maybe he will want one too. I'm out of hearing and I can't see very well. This is much better than the one you just passed out. something that you had said earlier. Okay, this access road here that you're proposing. Yes. Is for what purpose? It's for construction. So construction of the third system to the, and to the, the west. And we, how is, so has that been submitted yet? Yes, you have, this commission approved the ORAD for the, that project because it's not within the 100 foot buffer zone at all. But you're going to, are you? It's another solar field. Yeah, oh, no, but I'm looking here. So, okay, so this is the roadway here? Yes. So, yeah. The next solar field. Oh, oh I see. Okay, that's what I, okay, that's what I didn't see. So that's an existing roadway there. This yes. is an existing road here. Okay, all right. right okay, project, I see yeah. what you're doing now. I, okay, I see what you're doing. You, so you're tying into an existing roadway <laughs> there. Yep. Okay, that, now that makes sense to me. Yeah. It's a it's 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 logistics stuff during construction because coming through here with the large equipment could be you know we could, <clears throat> this this system could get damaged. Uh, also post construction, we, you know if, if there would need to be any kind of emergency management personnel fire truck that need to go all the way to the west to put out a fire in the power easement, they'd have to open up a gate. It has a knox box on it, so they, they have access to it. They have to open up that one, they have to open up that one, and you know, that's just not the best way to get someplace. Okay. Right. And the fire chief agreed with us. It was he he reviewed this and accepted it. 
Now, that existing roadway that's there, how wide is that? Well, it's anywhere from 10 to 14 feet wide. It kind of varies throughout its course. It's probably the narrowest as it goes through the wetlands. And you're not going to be widening that? Uh, no, we will be improving it. It was a requirement of uh, the planning board. So one of the, condi the original conditions for the solar project was to do some pruning and make sure it was appropriate for emergency management for the fire, for fire trucks. And improvement consists of? Really placing um, more gravel. Higher, wider? Higher. The road already goes to or by a second system. Correct. That's west of what we're looking at right now. It's trying to avoid no, the I, damage to the solar. Yeah, no, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm here that. Uh, but I don't want to see a 10 foot road become a 20 foot road. We've already approved an overhead and a wetland line for all of this complex. <clears throat> Whatever is existing there, it, it, it can't go any wider than this right, right at the moment. Correct. If we watch them, they can't. Well, we, uh, the planning board, uh, we're going to be required to hire Peter Williams and GZA to watch over any construction no. related to the project. Will you be filing when you construct the, the next system? Yes. Okay. Well, what do you mean by filing? Yeah. With, with, with your group? With Conservation Commission, or what do you mean by that? Yes. Will we be? I mean, you, you, is it all within uplands? The next solar field? It you is. You filed yes. an ORAD. We filed the ORAD. Yeah. Um, it was actually a group prior to us. But if they're going to be within the buffer zone area, you're going to need to file with us. They're too. not. So that will not be the only area where we would, will, where we'll be in the buffer zone is right here along it's this right road, there. and that's why we, yeah. we came in a month ago and asked if it should yeah. be. Uh, but the next step, when you, when you get ready to build your solar uh, field, yeah. you'll be filing with the commission. No, there's no, we're not, there's no work within the 100 foot buffer zone okay. on the other So that was project. the ORAD that you just gave, right. you gave me to start yeah. the meeting. We're staying outside the, the 100 foot there. It's, it's very steep as you get really west on this property, and we, we, we can't build on the, those slopes within the, within the 100 foot, so we're staying outside of it. And as we basically approached this project, it just beca it became very tough logistically. And this road, I don't know if anyone's driven through this system, probably not because it's always locked up. Um, but we did have a, a site visit with the planning board and with one of the abutters. Um, we, you might know Ron to the north, who was concerned about some drainage. Yep, yeah, so this is a tough road to come through. It's very steep, turns a little bit sideways yeah, at, at little points. There's difference there too, if I recall. Yep. It's not as steep as what you've got ahead of you after you go by the next solo. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, up, going up to the easement. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a chore. That'll be a chore. Yes. 104. Pretty good pitch on. Okay. And that, that next road is all outside the 100 foot buffer. It's just this section here. This is the only area, so that's why that's why we're showing you this plan, not all the all the different arrays and all that. Yeah. Pretty good pitch on. Four percent. Okay. No other questions here.
No, the, uh, this one. Accept the request by Borrego Bur Sola for their gravel road and issue a determination. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now, there's no place for you. There's no place for you to sign on an RDA, so you'll be signing an ORAD then. The, the approval of the, of the request for determination of applicability. The issue of determination of applicability. Right. So is that, does that happen next meeting, or does that just come from you, Charlie? Well, we've got 21 days, but it wouldn't be before that. Okay. Uh, I, I brought a form with us tonight. We can sign it tonight, and I can do it in my leisure. Okay. So when you can scan it, or so... Well, the, we, could, we will need the original at some point, obviously, just like that yeah, one. You'll get it by certified mail. You'll get it, we'll get okay. Yep. So you said 21 days. Is it not yep. like 10 days? No. What one that gives us 21 days to Oh, 21 act. days to act. Not, yep. not talking about, okay. Well, if we acted tonight. Right. But we've got 21 days to follow up. Right. Okay, and wonderful. we'll, we'll fit right take, into that. Yeah, all right, wonderful. Well, Josh will be all over you. He has your okay. email now. We'll do our weekly emails. emails. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks so very much. You're welcome. Well, all right. Thank you. Another Hawk Environmental. No, that's. Wait a minute. John no, we John got John TLC. One, one more. Number three. TLC Development. Zero Hawk Street. <sighs> okay, get those in. Receipt from the is that? Can I get it to you tomorrow? Here's, here's the reason why. I met the call, paid my credit card over. We have an accomplice. I sent you an email. I know you did. The ad, the ad ran, which is the, the key thing, right? Okay. I'll be, I, I'm going to be in town tomorrow at 9 o'clock. I'll stop by the Gazette. Stop time Huh? Stop time then? Stop time Email me tomorrow? Absolutely. No, email me. I'll, I'll deliver it. I'll bring it right to you. I sent you the sheet with it and I threatened you with not opening a hearing unless you presented the damn uh, receipt. It's been a long day, Charlie. Uh, very long day. But usually we only let trustworthy people. Uh, it's only uh, expensive interest. <laughs> oh, that again. Yeah. Save the best for last. Yeah. You're going to give me a hard time. Yeah. Don't go too far away because we can't see oh, it. Just, just gonna it's going to go back there. <laughs> well, we have trouble hearing you. Yeah, they hold right in it. I think, oh, yeah, they shoot that one right at it. How's this? <coughs> that work? That work. No. For me, yeah. All right, good evening. For the record, my name is Jeff Tallman with SciTech Engineering. Um, here with me tonight is Chris Capone, um, a wetland scientist that flagged the uh, delineation that we filed the, um, the in right on. The, the site, um, the address is 0 Horton Street. It's actually map 7, lot 22. Um, it's located on the north side of Horton Street. Um, this site has been before the commission, uh, I believe it was back in 2017. Uh, there was an ANRAD filed at that time. Uh, for whatever reason, this area out here was not delineated. 
on as part of that application. Um, I did speak to the wetland scientist that did the previous flagging. Um, he said it was at the request of the uh, the applicant at that time. Um, they weren't, you know, they were aware there was an upland there. The applicant didn't want to invest the money at that point. I think he, they were just kind of looking for a way to, you know, get across the stream at that point. So they really weren't concerned with this area. Uh, but since then, the property has been bought by TLC Development, and quite simply, we're just looking to uh, establish the remaining upland um, on the property. So as you can see, this lightly shaded green area here, we have 14 flags, wetland flag A1 through A14, um, that were delineated by Chris Capone and oh. Chris Capone, a uh, wetland scientist. Yes, sir. Um, and that's the uh, delineation that we had filed for. I'd be happy to answer any questions, or Chris could get into more of the specifics if you have any uh, questions you know, pertaining to the actual line itself. Close enough. Yeah. All we're talking about is that piece right there on the pole. Just this. The, the, the remain, the, all these flags that you see right. here. Previously approved. Know the area. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Now, didn't they? Didn't the ORAD cover yes. some flags in this area too? The original ORAD for, for the previous owner. Right here. These. See, uh, approved what line for two thousand one. Okay. Yeah. So so these these flags new, here. This is a new line. All right. Right here. And it's kind of um. The, the, there's walls on three sides. You have the, the Horton Street to the south, and there's a stone wall. Um, on the east here, there's also a stone wall on the north side, um, and another stone wall here. Um, it seems as though those walls, when they were built way back when, were built for a reason. It kind of, you know, I'm sure that the back piece was real wet, and they were just kind of separating that. Um, it seems to follow the wetland line pretty accurately, although, you know, you do have a little bit of a wetland that does uh, come in on the interior of that wall. We have a buffer zone improving in the lot from the lot across the street? Excuse me? In this case, Charlie, there are no wetlands immediately across the street from that upland. There are a little further to the, um, as you head to the east, yep. closer to the other wetland as it crosses. But immediately Over. across the street, there is, I did purposely look in that area, and there is nothing uh, directly parallel with that upland area. How much depth is this lot? I don't have a root over me. Uh, I'd say that's... Uh, uh, I want to say it's a, just over 100 feet. Yeah, it's over 125. I think it was like 110 or something like that. You're just talking about the flagged area. Yeah, from from the right of way, Charlie, to to the uh, deepest portion. Yeah, I um, I don't have a scale with me. Okay. I don't think I do. I may. It's all right. We we. Sixty feet. Is that what it is? Oh yeah. Sixty feet. So, sixty feet. So that's uh, ninety feet, right? What? Yeah. Okay. So that's a hundred feet for the flag. This is actual steel. No math required. Yeah. Well, about one twenty. I'm a digit. I can figure it out. About one twenty. To the street. For, for, to the street line. Correct. From, from the street line here. And to say wetland flag A7, yeah, about 120 um, feet. I know this is just for delinea delineation that you're doing this, right? Correct. Um, <coughs> you got to put a septic system in outside of the 100 foot. To Correct. the flag, true. No, no, I know, but I'm just, uh, uh, so that leaves them right here. Um, Pumping it down the street. Correct. Well, that's a future worry. Yeah. Everyone that looked at this property that I looked at in the past, we're looking to try to do exactly what you said. So this this section of the property <coughs> does confine them not to necessarily meet the requirements for a septic system siting there. So that's why a lot of people walked away from this property. TLC happens to been able to purchase 
the whole acreage now, and they have access to the back where the quai is to their land that they abut it. So it kind of makes well, it. Well, there's, there's somebody in between. I mean, there, there's. You're talking about this well, back. Yeah, piece. They, yeah. They, yeah. I mean, that's what is up in that direction. Well, there's a piece of land in between. The that's correct. The DI trust in between them yeah. and the. Uh, so. Yeah. So everyone that looked at this was trying to do it immediately on Horton Street. Okay. Well, uh, have you seen? Uh, just so that you know, you have seen that stream in action with a, with a with a good flow. Yep. It was. Uh, I have pictures of it being 150 feet wide, flowing way over its banks. Right. Yeah. It's a very flat flood flood area within that section of the west. Okay. Correct. But now owned by a construction company, so nothing nothing that can't be done. Well, the previous owner did clear this, so this was cleared without any filings at some point. So he did a lot of things that uh, whoever this owner was didn't meet with our approval. They actually had John the Botanist flag it, and when I went to look at it, his flags were in the wetland by 30, 40 feet. So the kind of the tree cutter went by that. So actually, you'll see some of this cutting is beyond what my delineation represents because of the soils. Is there still an enforcement order for this pro over here? Right. Over here? Uh, he hasn't. He hasn't gotten a release from the enforcement on. No, but uh, he doesn't own the land anymore, so it doesn't make much difference. Well, sure, it continues on to the new owner. Yeah, but they're not pending anything back here. No, oh, well, I know. They're, they're filing for this. For this well, no, but that moment. just for their information. That I think it's. Uh, uh, they should be aware of that. I think Thank Jeff you. may be aware of that. I, I am now. Yeah, I'm so. sure John Perry made it uh, pretty clear to uh, Mr. Lopes when he. Or TLC when they bought the property. Yes. Well, maybe not fully, but <laughs> we obviously, anything yes. done in the future can be addressed well, for that. We order conditions. The guy didn't pay attention to it. You just take the paper, you give it to them, they stick it in the drawer, and go and do what you want. Happens more than you think. I'm sure you guys see it on a regular basis. Well, he was supposed to swamp mat across the stream. Uh, I work with people that didn't move swamp mats, they hook a chain, <coughs> hook it, pull it. Ride on it, walk on it. Yeah, you turn and walk ahead this of your This guy grabbed one at a time, went in and out of the driveway, and piled them all up right next to the brook. Made one hell of a mess, knocked trees over. Uh, so we issued an enforcement order. Then he decided he wasn't, he wasn't going to go any further. So, so long as you know that, there's an enforcement uh, on this area over here. Thank you. So, Faneuf delineated this front part? No, Chris did. Yes, this one part I did, fan of got the approval on okay, the well, How did you get involved with this? Well, he didn't. Oh, he, he didn't? Yeah, he, we had him look at it and he was going to file it. If you, if you notice, the end right has changed. We had changed it from... Oh, I didn't pay attention to the end yeah. right part. Yeah. Okay, well, we got to go up there, take a look at it, and yes. then... Uh, um, so we'll... Continue it until uh, our next meeting. We'll get down there. Now, the flags are nice and visible with all the numbers. Yes, okay. yes they are. Oh, yeah. This guy's such a good flag. Yes, well, he are. didn't do it, though. Chris, no, Chris, Chris right? Yeah, they're all there. And despite what you think, he sets them nice and high. I put them high, too. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad to see them all. Okay. So we'll continue the meeting, at the hearing until whatever the next second uh, Wednesday. April. Or? We'll get down It'll there. It'll be easy to take a look at. You know, it's They're very like easy, yeah, like obviously. You can no. You no, you can see it from the road, uh, honestly. Right from They're the road. That visible. What we're saying is we, don't, we won't have to get an agent to come no, I mean, it, it, and charge you extra. <laughs> we appreciate it. In, in this case, I don't necessarily think that's required. Okay, I'll take it. It seems pretty you. straightforward. Not being a wetland scientist, but to me it seems pretty straightforward. So. Ten. Ten? Yeah. So they know how to use this goddamn phone. You know, if there's any kids uh, listening in on this, uh, it's just for the tenth of April. April. They're gonna le they're gonna learn some uh, new language. That's well, the thirteenth of next month. No, but it's new. Yeah, not if they're right in the school bus. They April tenth. Enough to know. It's tenth. The eleventh of April.
What line number that? Wednesday. The guy says 10 over here, Charlie. Pardon? April 10th. April Wednesday. 10th. It's your 10. Yeah. April 10th to Tuesday. You in the right month? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the 11th. I have the 10th. 10th, yeah. You have the 10th? Yeah, I have the 10th. What kind of phone is that, John? She's a tenth. Absolutely. Are you Not so smartphone? Are you 2008? <laughs> Are you 2018? You can change yeah, your calendar. Yeah, look, okay. I'll change the mother, yeah. That's what I did. I looked at the year. I said, oh, wrong year. I said, I did. That's it. See you then. Thank you very much. A motion to continue with the tenth. Same time, same place. All right, we'll leave Chris on that. Yeah. Take care of him. We'll be dragging him off. Where they see this bear in your backyard? Hmm? Where's this bear been seen in your backyard? Not my backyard. No? I, I've been okay. here okay. in my backyard, but not in my backyard. Also, there's 12 flags. 13 flags. Good night. Good night, guys. All right, guys. Jeff, you all set? I am good. Thank you, gentlemen. It's good to see you. Good night. You too, now. Jim made a motion to continue this till uh, yes, April April 10th. Jim did. Oh, you second it? I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 There you go. Okay. We need to sign a COC request from Riverhawk Environmental. Lot 95, map 22. Okay. 3081 Hunters Hill Drive. Oh, we haven't heard from them guys in a long time. Uh, they still in operation up there. What's that? They still going on up there? Well, What's they tried to do this uh, three months What's ago, and it uh, see witness stalled. And all the 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 yeah. All right. Good deal. Yeah. I to it down. My scribe. <laughs> What is a COC, Charlie? Have a good night, guys. Have a good night. Take it easy. Certificate of compliance. Certificate of compliance. Oh, so they're done? They're done. Yes. The map is attached right to that. I just want to see what. Uh... Okay, you, we got to sign an extension permit for Tatanyako? Yeah, we'll send that first, one okay. thing at a time. They had to establish those lines on the lot. And they have installed markers, I believe. <laughs> What's it say there? Permanent limit of disturbance marker. Okay, that's what they have to do. And they did it. Yes, there should be one on the other side, too. Yeah, there was. Okay, we need a vote on that then. Well, let me look okay. at it. Okay. Well, there's nothing there to say. We just looked at it all. It's 3018 Hunters Hill Drive. An existing dwelling, and there's some, uh, it's been sold from one to another. And then they, and during the sale, they determined that a certificate of appliance had never been applied for. It was an RDA, but the problem was okay. that they built the house next to a pond and wetland area. and. The Hunters Hill uh, order of conditions stated that those lots had to be delineated, marked. Yeah. They never were. But the new owner didn't couldn't read either. It was one of those things. Okay, so that's just, just lot 95, map 22. Yeah. Okay, what do you do? You want to sign this? <coughs>
The next one is from uh, Tantiakla. They had a contractor that was supposed to uh, do their uh, uh, dredging, uh, but he never, uh, never started, never stopped. They're in danger of losing their uh, extension. Uh, they can't work now from April. From, uh, right. well, April, yeah. March. March 1st to August uh, 30th because of uh, uh, herring runs. and So they're asking for a, an extension to their uh, order of conditions. And I don't see any reason why we can't uh, grant one. So I move that we extend your other conditions for and I'll second that. And we we'll extend it would you we'll extend it for the whole three year period? Three years, yes. Was there a vote on it? Do we have a first we Not have yet. a motion and a second? I second there it. Is. Charlie second that. Yeah. All Aye. in favor? Aye. 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 Next on the agenda. Anton Rodericks, Lot 14, Parcel 4, Main he Street. He hasn't done anything uh, from uh, nothing that uh, he hasn't uh, honored our enforcement order. And he's uh, embroiled now in a tussle with uh, the Water Health. He supplied for septic system repair for what he called an existing home. The Board of Health agent says it's not a home, it was a commercial property, and they're not going to schedule a, a peer test. And I think Mr. Roberts is uh, going to seek legal advice to see. Well, we still have an enforcement order. And we of still have an enforcement order. The Board of Health knows that. Added. Uh, I'm sure it is. The wetland line comes right up to his, or just shy, well, 15 feet shy of his proposed dwelling. Uh, but there is no existing uh, septic system there. There was an existing septic system, and probably in the swamp. I don't know where it ended, but the, there was a, a septic system. There was water, and he has photographic proof that it was inhabited, the people ate in it and slept in it and defecated in it. The, All right. the, well, the, the hinge is whether it was a, a house. It, it was basically a garage and a, and a shed, but it did store uh, immigrant laborers that picked the uh, crops. Yeah, but and, We'll let the board of health decide whether it was that, a that's legal what it action right or not. now. But on our end, the wetland right behind that property is not going to go away. The gentleman was sitting right there is the guy who uh, uh, flagged it and reaffirmed it. It's on a plan that he submitted to us. It's definitely a wetland, and he put eight or ten inches of soil over it. The, the sedges have grown right through it. It's right back to where it was. No, and it's not going away. All right. <clears throat> Tell us about Matt Waterist. Pardon? Matt Waterist. They can't do anything until the planning board, uh, they have a deal with the planning board. This is uh, Center Street Woods. Yeah. Uh, the planning board has a hold on any new construction, so they can't file. And there's a little uh, discussion now about uh, they cleared land that may cause a problem with a house that's already uh, way below grade. Uh, they built a drainage system just to accommodate it, 
And I don't know how it, but that would be settled yeah, with the water conditions. It's got to cool off. But we approved clearance for one lot, uh, but the previous owner, and I guess still the current owner, uh, had both lots cleared at the same time to save a little money. So the enforcement order was issued because they had cleared lot four. It was just supposed to be lot three. They cleared four or two. Well, that stands just like it is. Yeah. The roses just need to be prodded. He has to file a notice of intent. He promised to do that, but uh, Brandon Fanef at that time uh, was busy and, and uh, we gave him a, a, a break to uh, <clears throat> can't give my can't give anybody a break. What's that? You gotta can't give anybody a break. They just gotta follow through and do what they're supposed to do. Well, we're gonna follow through, but Brandon was busy as hell and he couldn't prepare an order a condition a notice notice of intent for the guy. So Wait, this is for Warhurst or for No for DeRosa. Oh DeRosa. Oh okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, you see. The other one, it? I mean they wanna go ahead, they're dying to go ahead. But Plenty Board uh, okay. is holding it back. Okay. Correspondence, I guess. So we just we'll continue all of these just as is. It's on the list, Charlie's got it here for next. What's that? Correspondence. Yeah, we've got some approvals to make here, too. Okay, very, very, right, right. Mass Housing Finance, you've got a copy of the they did grant them a permit for a 40 big strawberry fields. It's in part of your packet. Miss Strawberry Fields. No, they still have to apply to us, though, correct? Oh, yeah. They have to go through the ZBA and to us again, but we're right back to the same place. Yeah, right. We were, we're last time. Yeah. yeah. Where, what, what are we? What are we doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. We skipped over something. Okay. We're on the second page. All right. Number two. All right. That's uh, this. There's not much we can do except wait for the application. Yeah. Uh, we have an invoice. Oh, that's the same spot. Right? Uh, looks like I forgot something here. Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay. We have a bill payable to Nova Armstrong. Uh, they submitted a bill for an invoice for $2,595 for work they did at Blue Wave Sova on Street Armstrong. It's all itemized back here. Okay, so that comes out of the 53G? 53G. Yeah. And there is enough money in there, too? Oh, yeah. Okay. So you need three, three pieces. Sorry. Okay, I move that we approve the signing for the 53G account for Nova Armstrong. And I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're giving money back to these people 
on uh, number four yeah, chart. Actually, uh, we've always played it pretty close, but we had a five thousand uh, dollar fifty three G, and they've got a couple of grand. They got four thousand dollars coming back, but to get it, we need to. Bill uh, used to sign this letter to the uh, treasurer. She won't release the money without his approval. Okay. Uh, I make the motion that we release money from the 53G accounts to, was it John Duvalley, he's the only one? Yep, both, both of them are John Duvalley. Uh, for the amounts uh, enclosed. I'll second that. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Who seconded it? I did. There you go again. Jack. I'll get home by 10. We've got another bill up there, I'm pretty sure. Yep. This is for survey of Zero Oak, uh, Council Oak uh, Way, a property we've got over there. The ending amount is $3,786.25. For office research, registry research, online research, one man recovery, preliminary survey field work, additional survey field work, property line calculations, data transfer, lot stakeout, CAD drafting, review drafting, final drafting, meeting with public officials. And who's this, who's this from? This is from John Delano and Associates. Invoice number 9220. But the total for the uh, survey of that and, and installation of uh, markers was 3,786.25. Just bill signature on that. Okay, I move that we. Wait a minute, what is this that. Uh, Payroll voucher? Yes. That we approve so the payroll we approve voucher. The, have you approved the one from uh, them yet? Yep. You have a vote? Second? Yes. Right there. That's the last one. Did, did you make a motion for that one? I'm making the motion that we that we approve the payroll voucher to that's John Delano. That's, uh, that's an invoice. From whom? Who number, is this for? Uh, number four. That's number six. Number five. Oh. oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's number? Yeah. Yeah. Number five. Uh, there is no. Where, where's the number five? Read, read through number four, and then you get the number five. Review invoice. Oh, okay. Nine, two two zero. Okay. All right. I see it. Oh, I see what happened. Yeah, Jack's I, I paying attention. It. He's the only one paying well, attention. Okay. <laughs> Jim's part of it too. But I okay. deleted something and incorporated too. Yeah. Okay, right. I move that we uh, pay for services on Council Oakway in the, in the amount of $3,786.25. I second. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, there you go. And that's my payroll vote. Yeah. Okay, we don't have to do anything on that, right? No. I vote, Charlie. The New England power thing is, uh, I guess, National Grid wants to rehab the circuits that are listed on there, and they put a, a proposal into DEP, and DEP has uh, found it wanting. So we received an email correspondence from BSC Group. They're uh, going to file with the commission for whatever they plan to do in Titan. I mean, the line runs through 13 towns. And they'll have to file with 13 towns. Yes. 
I think that's that's what they found lacking when they recruited. Yeah. They used to warn us when they were going to do it. Yeah, yeah but this is different. Yeah. The, you know, if they just drive through and they have to put a guy, uh, fix a pole or a guy wire or, or the poles, yeah, that's regular uh, uh, repair and maintenance. But this was a little bit more involved than that. Yeah. And it might interfere with the new solar. The new solar plant on the other side of the tower line. So they're going to have to cross the tower line for the new solar. No, I think they're going to be on this side. No? They've got to cross right over it. Oh, that's all right. So they'll be right up near uh, the. Uh, and Hunter's Hill. That is Hunter's Hill, yeah, I'll get there, we're going over. But it must still belong to the... He bought it, well, he bought it off King Street. Oh, so they're involved too. Oh, yeah. Not the Kingsley. No. Kingsley sold the land to the engineer who uh, built the first two solar panel farms. Okay. He's going to build on the other side of the tower line. Well, but and that's what these people this, get. Marigo is, is going to build it. Yeah, Marigo is going to build it. Yeah. But it'll still be owned by the same company that built the first two fields? No? No, it's a different company. The guy that, the guy that designed and built the two, pre, the two panels that are there, yeah. he bought it personally. He bought the land. And he's going to lease it to the company. Huh. <coughs> A little quickie there. Yeah, he got a. He got going pretty good with Bruce Kingsley, I guess. Oh I yeah, know. Bruce must have needed the. Uh, uh, Bruce so always needs. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have said that on TV. <laughs> Should I have? Okay. Uh, we got. We're going to talk to uh, Domenico. You want to? You want to do it? You want to do it? Why don't we do it after we close? What's that? If we've got a discussion, we should do it on camera. Not off camera. That's not the way it works. Okay. Let's discuss it. Good. I thought the last time when we took a vote that uh, the land was going to be ours for a buck. That was my assumption. I how, how, Charlie, how did you get that assumption? By, by looking at the email correspondence between the, they sent us a copy of every discussion that lawyers had back and forth. And every one of those said transfer of land for a dollar. But that was never Bruce's, uh, uh, not Bruce, we we're talking about a different guy. Domenico, Domenico's Domenico. uh, intention. His father wanted to sell it for 30 grand. This guy wants uh, a suspect. It's eleven thousand dollars. It's the only piece of property on that marsh that you cannot use. It's protected by the state with the, with the state regs. Most of that lot that he's trying to sell you is the one that his father tried to sell me. You were willing to buy it. Yeah, I was because I thought we were getting both pieces. Well, when when. But this we weren't getting both pieces. Well, when we Steve Domenico dies, we'll get the other piece. Well, but right now his father is d deceased, right? And he's trying to get rid of the property, and we have been trying to buy parcels all around that marsh that we protect. can use. What do we mean to use? We can't use any of those. We're doing it to protect the marsh. No, Charlie. Yes. No. Oh, that's everything, right. that's, that's, Charlie, that's everything right. we bought, we yeah. can use. For what? You, you can you can put a boardwalk on it. You can walk, you can get, go out and take students on it. You can put a boardwalk on, on that too. No, you can't. Why? Because the map he showed you. Put your pants up. Oh, I'm good. The map he gave you. I got one here somewhere. Doesn't look like the map that you should have saw. I copied when the map you, from Map Geo, a town official map. Right. The, but you showed me the you showed me the borderline. Now, wait a minute. You showed me the the, the side, the boundaries is what you showed yeah. me on your map. Yeah. Now this is when you told me it was we were going to get it for a dollar. I colored it in, and that's the lot. And you can see how the whole thing is. More than half of the lot 
is underwater all the time. It's this not underwater. Yes, it is. This yeah. right here has actually got trees on it. This 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 is. Uh, no. I know who owns that. This and piece right here that it juts out. Yeah. Has is high and has the same amount of trees that this property has. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Tony Roderick, this parcel goes right up to Tony Roderick's, and this area right here is treed. Solid oak right. grove. Right. Okay. That's so that's upland trees. That's Tony's. That's Tony's. No, that's not Tony's. That's on here. Tony's got a backyard that's all grass except for some trees right in this area. Yeah. Tony's backyard is devoid of trees, period, right to here. Trees are on this property. But you can't get out there because of all these. What students. difference does that make? If okay. we're buying property to, to protect. No, Johnny, it's already protected. We buy what we need, we, we buy what we can we, to use. We can't use yes, any we of that can. marsh. Yes, we can. We can use all of the marsh. But we can't, we can't put a bridge across this because a, a, a bridge would be crazy. This is the only piece in the whole salt marsh that we can't use. I'm not buying it, but uh, that's the only piece. That's your piece. So what? We can't use any of these other pieces. Yes, you can. How? They all belong to different people. Well, we no, can't use this. We can't use that. The yellow ones belong to us. Yeah, we own this now. We own that now. We can't cross here. Why did we buy that? That came with this. That no, came that came with that. that no, this came with this. Came with this, and this. Thirty-eight acres. We have a trail. From here, through Wait this. Wait This is the property we bought over here. This was with it, Charlie. No. Yeah. I, I purchased this from Kingsley, 38 acres, including this. I should have brought my plants with me. I left them home. I didn't expect to get uh, ambushed. But You're right. not getting ambushed. I'm telling you. But well, you were trying to tell me there was a lot between here and there. There was not. This is the same lot that I showed you on my map. Yeah. Okay. But you didn't show me the creek. That you didn't show me the river coming in here from the marsh. What are you talking about? I showed you the whole damn marsh. No, you showed me that you sh you had a you had the boundary lines on a piece of paper like this. You didn't show the you didn't show the creek come. This this lot is underwater all the time. No, it's not. This pot is not underwater because it's got trees on it. It's elevated. Even if it does, there's no way to access this back area. It's 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 dead. Access right from here. But you can't cross that. Oh, well, you can't you can't fill salt marsh. We, we That's have, even the problem with the other land that we're looking at over here. Uh, there's a driveway that goes into a little bit of highland area, but the salt marsh is reclaiming the drive. But we're going to buy that. Possible. Uh, Why are we buying one and not the other? What What's the difference? I can't see a difference. This guy wants one hundred and sixty-five thousand. No, no, no way. I no way. know that, but that's what he wants, and I'm not willing to pay that. It's It's valued at ten grand. Yeah, well, he's here. To speak up. He's it's his money. Are you interested in this conversation? With the, we're on camera. Okay. We're not going to do any more off cameras. No more hush hushes. My understanding is, is that the um, there was some money that came down for a an appraisal to be done on that property. So the appraisal, I would assume, this property. Is, yes, on the Simon's property. Simon's. Simon's. On the Simon's property. Yeah. They, they're waiting for the appraisal to come back, and depending on what that appraisal is, the um, open space committee has put a brief application for eligibility into the CPC to possibly purchase that parcel of land, but it's all predicated on what the evaluation of that property is. We all know what it is listed as well, the, the assessment. The assessment is value 10 grand. Is 10 yes. grand. Correct. But he, for some unforeseen reason, seems to think that Mr. Simons can put a home there, run his septic, threw it across under 138, and, and have the system across the street. I explained it to you. <laughs> so that's so in in regards to running a bullet to put a septic, I don't think that's gonna happen honestly, because they're not gonna allow the boring on a one thirty eight. 
especially, I believe, in the wetland area. This is just my own personal belief. I'm not getting this from any experts, but we're still waiting for what the appraisal cost is going to be. And CPC, where are the negotiations? The negotiations right now are between the Open Space Committee, Mr. Simons, and the Town Administrator. So I believe the Town Administrator will have the final say if anyone is going to purchase, poss possibly purchase that parcel of land. That's how I see things. And Mr. Digis is right, because I did take a ride down there, okay, when there was no snow on the ground, and walked that property. And where his proposed driveway is, he doesn't even have enough turnaround on that property to do anything, number one. And secondly, yes, there is marsh grass that's popping up through his driveway. It's, it's, been, it's been reclaimed. It's reclaiming it. It's, it's moving back so, in. So he doesn't have a driveway anymore. So, I, you know... That's something for this board, if it ever comes to fruition, well, is going to have to be built a house, you'd have to file. And all that would, have been, would be brought out. As, as, absolutely. What, what he had was a plan drawn showing the possibility of sticking a house in. But the house is just about fits the little square area that uh, is beyond any setbacks. And this is the one that's so I don't believe at this time that um, the way things sit is we're still, again, we're waiting for the appraisal. And I don't believe that um, conservation, I hate to use this term in all of you, but would be on the hook to use any of their funds to purchase that property. So I think that right now you guys would be basically out of the picture in the negotiations, like I said, are going to be through the, the homeowner, the open space committee. And we already made an offer to him, and he refused it. So, so we're out of it. Yes, we're, we're um, not gonna. We will not offer any more than what we did. Well, so now, the best course of action uh, is to wait ten. for an appraisal you that did, someone had given. Yeah, yeah, we're we're discussing discussing a different parcel right now. Yeah. So, but I thank you for your time, and that's the only explanation I have on the possible purchase of Mr. Simon's property. So, that's all I can offer at this time. Matter of fact, I did receive an email from um, Mrs. Goodlack, who is the chair of Open Space, and it asked her that if we're in the process of going for an appraisal and they've only done an application for eligibility application to the CPC, is to fill out and as best that they can an application for funding to the CPC because they can always fill in the amount requested at the end which would not be a problem. But see, here's the thing now. We are already in March 12th, especially the regular annual time meetings in June. All well, depending on appraisal. You know, if this appraisal comes back and it's, and it's late May, it may not make the warrant. So this man may not get the monies that he'd like for that property, this town well, meeting. Well, then maybe someone should speed up the appraisal process. And now, SIP it is, SIP it is involved in that appraisal? They, um, no, I've, um, who was the entity? I don't know the, I don't know the appraiser's name. I mean, the entity who had given the money for the appraisal. That was through SERPA, those, that grant was for oh, okay. the appraisal cost. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was done through SERPA. But the okay. uh, open space people got the, got the money from SERPA for the appraisal and the okay. surveying of that lot, Simon's okay. lot. Because yeah. what we do at CPC is we always, we've made it a point to have any um, projects that go before town meeting to do that at the annual town meeting and not any special. We don't want to set a precedent of, of doing special town meetings because you just don't have enough time frame to receive some of these applications, say, um, after the regular annual town meeting is over and then you have a special in December, if somebody were to come to us between September and, or June and December, we still may not have enough time to put everything together in order to